Hey guys, it's Stone W. We're gonna do a full review and unboxing of the Massimo 100 watt solar panel along with my Jackery Explorer 240. Now, the Massimo uh, solar panel, I had that for pretty much over a month now. So it's been pretty, working out very well. And I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. Using it with my Jackery works perfectly fine and it works really well. So the max I got from the Massimo at full sunlight was 68 watts. So it fluctuates from 67 to 68 at full sunlight. And if it's uh, you know at a different angle or not efficient angle, it's around 50-ish to uh, 60, which is not bad. This is what it is when it's uh, pointing directly to the sun. It's on its little uh, stands and stuff. And I put the power supply right be or power station right behind it. So the jackery sits in the shade so it doesn't you know overheat or anything. Now, I don't put a load on it while I'm recharging it. I'm just basically recharging it and letting it recharge on its own for about a few hours. So I usually do this a few hours a day, and especially when, it's when camping. And overall, this build quality is pretty good, to be honest. It's it's weighs about roughly under 10 pounds. There is a little light that indicates that um, it's tr there's power coming in, and there's two USB-A um, uh, slots as well as a, um, a cable for it. Now, I usually put it on my... Um, windshield of my car but this time i realized this is actually a little longer than my other uh solar panels like that I, that I own so it's actually a little longer and i usually run the wire right into the car through the um the weather stri stripping but for this i'm actually putting it on the roof and running the power into my sunroof which is very convenient because this gets a better efficiency than that of putting on the windshield even though the windshield is a lot more convenient at the, at the right angle but it's basically you know not it's too long for it so i put it on the roof it actually works pretty well i'm boxing this thing it's actually pretty straightforward and simple there's really not much to it it just has bubble wrap over the solar panels again the solar panel weighs under about 10 pounds um there's no other um like carabiner attachments but there are hooks for this thing so you could hang this thing so let's open this guy up real fast nice orange um logo and things so it's easier to find there's the kickstand it's actually held by a little uh, strap there's a bag on one side and it has a little you know instruction manual as well as the another cord like a dc cord or extension cord or power cord and a bunch of adapters all in that packet they're looking inside there's actually a fixed uh, wire in there for uh, to power your power supply and there's also the usb a uh, plugs now taking this out that power supply line is roughly around, uh, I would say about a good little over four feet-ish. So it has a adapter, it uses the adapter kit to fit onto various uh, things you wanna charge, whether it is your laptop or something else, but quite possibly I'm gonna charge it into a power station, like my uh, Jackery Explorer 240. Now the 240 requires the largest one that they have, which is perfect. And there's plenty of other sockets you want. And I like the fact that it goes back into that case pretty easily. Now, looking in the in, uh, user manual, it's pretty straightforward. But the good thing is the stats. So not only that it comes with that extra cable and also the adapters and solar panel. But another thing it is, is that the USB uh, outputs for power supply is 2.4 amps per uh, USB port. And of course, like this thing is supposed to be waterproof and stuff. So, but according to the instruction manual, you know, the... That USB port area isn't waterproof. You want to make sure it's nice and covered. So here's the stats again, and here's uh, the overall look and what those other ports are. USB port as well as that DC output port. Pretty useful if you want that extra cable, but you know overall the cable length is actually pretty short. That four-ish feet is just about enough to reach into the car so that I could recharge it in, while it's in the car. So there's the thing about compatibility and stuff if you want to look into that the main thing you want to do is just point this thing towards the sun consistently and throughout the day like every few hours to rotate it when i have it on top of my car it basically is perfect during the noon time but once it's the sun starts going at an angle you have to basically put it on the windshield or something else like that so overall it's pretty cool it's been i've been using it for the past month it's been working pretty well i'm basically planning this for my next camping trip so that I have power and, you know, I've, I can actually use power during my camping trip. So anyways, guys, that's really about it. And putting it on, it's basically very simple. You just pick the plug adapter and then you plug in your power supply to it. So very, very straightforward, very simple. Like I said, it gets about 68 watts max on my Jackery um, Explorer 240. 
but you know at the perfect angle but at the same time it usually averages around 53 to to a range of 53 to about 60 ish so anyways guys this is turning i hope this review was helpful to you and i'll see you next time thanks for watching guys Bye bye